Moi kaikki! Today we will continue with verb type 2, part 3. So if you haven't seen part 1 or part 2 yet, please go watch those first. Before we start, I just wanted to give a super quick shout out to this very lovely user who <laughs> is the first person ever to give me a super thanks. So I've not even mentioned that this is like a thing on my channel, like YouTube's uh, rolling these out um, slowly to more and more users, so maybe you've noticed like the super thanks button, uh, but I guess it's like a kind of tip you can give to different YouTubers or whatever. <laughs> So I just wanted to personally thank you for not only being the first one to give me the super thanks but just for your generosity and kindness and it did not go unnoticed. So with that, let's start. So today I will be going over the conjugations for the pronouns me, te, and he. So, I will go over, this time I'll do two examples per pronoun, and then I will give you four verbs to practice with. Um, of course, the answers will be down below. And then I'll go over the two more tricky exception ones. So let's start with me. Me. So me means we. We. Me. Me. So the first verb that we will practice with is yuada. So remember verb type two, uh, and when the verb is in its basic form, it will have the da or da at the end. So our first verb example will have the da at the end, yuada, da, yuada. So um, what we are wanting to now do is to use this verb in a we situation where you want to say we drink da 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 da. So what we have to do is conjugate to verb conjugate the verb <laughs> to fit the we context. So actually we're starting off with a funny one. The conjugation is different if you're using kiryakeli or buhekeli, but I will first address the kiryakeli. So in kiryakeli it would be me yuame, yuame, because we have yuada, and just like all the previous um, pronoun pronoun conjugations, we take off that da marker for verb type two. We take it off, and then what we're left with is yua, and then the ending for me is m m e which is cool because it kind of get, makes it easier to remember. Me and m m me <laughs> So yeah, the M M E is the me marker and we just add that to the end. So it becomes me yuame. Me yuame. We drink. Me yuame be. We drink water. Me yuame. All right, so that's the kiriakeli way. And actually the funny thing I wanted to point out is for the me conjugations in buhekeli, we actually use the passive uh, tense, tense, the passive verb conjugation when we're talking about we. So what is passive? Passive just means that in theory you don't know who the do doer is of the verb. So it's supposed to be passive. Um, the verb is not supposed to signify who is doing the action, but in Finnish, <laughs> the passive form is oftentimes used when talking about we. A good point to note that it's very rare when speaking in everyday language to use like me you me. It sounds very formal um, and it sounds not, it doesn't sound awkward, it just sounds like you're talking very textbook. So what you want to do is, if you're speaking in everyday life, you're going to want to use the passive form uh, for when talking about we. Alright? So the rule for passive is you add either an or an to the end of 
the basic form of the word. So because you are da ends in an a, we will use that a um, to know that we want to add the an to the end because we want to match the a with the a. So it becomes your dawn, your dawn, me your dawn. So your dawn is actually in passive, but we use it for me your dawn. We drink me your dawn, me your dawn. So that's the puhekeli way. So let's take another example before you guys get to practice a little bit. So the next verb is suada. So this time we're using an a, d, a ending for the basic form of that verb. So suada, da, suada means to eat. And the d, a at the end signifies verb type two. Suada, da, suada means to eat. So for the we, me form, what you do is you disregard the di a at the end and what you're left with is su, and then you add the me ending of m, m, e to form su, me, me, su, me, me, su, me. And now to um, talk about the passive form, so the way you would say this in buhekkeri, um, because suada ends in a, we want to match that with the a n ending for passive. So it would become suadan, suadan, because you have the basic form plus the a n ending. Put them together, we it becomes suadan, me suadan, me suadan. We eat, we eat me sua me, me suadan. So me suadan is what you'll often, I would say, mostly hear in everyday situations out in the real world. <laughs> All right, so now you guys get a couple of verbs to practice with. Now we'll just quickly cover the two verbs that are a bit more difficult um, because they're kind of exceptions uh, to the rules we just practiced together. Oh. huge food truck making a delivery to the Sainsbury right across the street. So sorry if it's a bit loud. I think it's gonna park. So we'll just wait a second. So those would be nahda and tehda. So for the me form, um, the ending is also M-M-E. And like previously we've practiced in my previous two videos with the other pronouns, um, we first do the exact same thing. We take the D, A off from the basic form of Nahda, D, A off, and then what we're left with is Nah, and similarly we just change the H to an E for ease of pronunciation and add the M, M, E, Me ending to form Me, Na, Me. Me nae me, me nae me. We see, we see. Me nae me. Okay, and then the same thing with ehda. Um, you have the basic form tehda. Take the d a off, and then what you're left with is eh. The h turns into an e, and then you add the m n e ending. Te me, me te me. And then we'll cover the passive as well, and luckily the passive works in the same way, so it actually doesn't work in any kind of exception. So, for example, with nahda, we see da at the end ends with an a, so we want to match the a with the a n ending, so it becomes me nahdan, me nahdan. Same rules for passive apply here, so. Hopefully that's easy to remember. Me nah dan. And then same for tehda. It ends in d a. We want to match the a to the a n ending instead of a n. We want the a to match. So we add the a n ending. So it becomes me tehdan. Me tehdan. All right, so moving on to te. So 
te is like you guys plural. You plural. Te. You guys. So taking the same verb, you are da, how do we say you guys drink? So the te ending is also quite easy to remember. Te ending is t t e. T t e, te, and t te. So um, what we first do is just like previously, we take the d a off. Bye bye. And then we just add that TTE to the end to form te, you te. Te, you te. Te, you te. And similarly with sua da, we take da off and add TTE to form te, sua te. Te, sua te. You guys eat. Te, sua te. You guys, you plural, eat. Te suette ranskalaisia. You guys eat french fries. All right, and then I'll let you guys practice with four verbs to conjugate those to the te form. All right, hopefully that was clear and made sense. Um, then we will go over the nahda and the tehda verbs. So hopefully by this time, Point, you can kind of guess, hopefully, how they would conjugate. So remember, with the te form, the ending is t t e, and just like previously, all we want to do is take the for. Let's start with nahda. We take the d a off, and the h will turn into an e for ease of pronunciation, and we add the t t and. T T E ending. So it becomes te nai te. You guys see. You plural see. Te nai te. Te nai te. Exact same thing with tehda. Tehda, we take the D A off. Um, the H turns into an E and we add the T T E te ending to form te te te. Te te te. Te, te, te. All right, and now we're finally at our last pronoun, finally, which is he. He, which means they. So let's go over the first two verb conjugations first. So first off, we have yuada, to drink. So if you want to say they drink, how do you think that would go? So. Again, what we want to start off with is taking the basic form yuada and taking the verb type to marker da off, just like we've always done. Then the he conjugation ending is vat or vat, depending on vowel harmony, as it called. Um, so whatever. Is ease, it, it's to do with ease of pronunciation as well. In this case, because yuada ends in an A, we are going to use the VAT ending to match. Okay, so it turns into he yua bot. He yua bot. They drink. He yua bot. Yua bot. Okay, and then practicing with a DA ending, suada. Ah. Uh, we first take the dia ending off, like we've always done, but then we want to remember that suada ends in the a, and we want to match the a to the uh, he ending. So we would choose vat instead of vat to match the as. So it becomes he sua vat. He sua vat. He suavat, they eat. Okay, he suavat ranskalaisia. They are eating, they eat french fries. <laughs> Somehow I'm craving french fries. I think it's because this food truck. It, no, I think they're made of cheese. Like there's this food truck in front of me and the scene is made from food and the buildings kind of look like wedges, like potato wedges, waffle fries, but I think it's meant to be cheese. <laughs> Anyways, 
let's move on to practice then with the four other verbs so you guys can practice how to make the he conjugations. Welcome back everyone. So now we will deal with the two tricky examples. So nahda and tehda. Let's take a deep breath <laughs> in and out. This is the last hurdle guys. Okay, so with nahda, again, let's just remember it has an a ending because that will be important. So first, like always, we take the d a at the end off and then what we're left with is nah, but the H has always been kind of problematic and usually we turn it into an E, right? This time, we're, at, we're turning it into an K-E. Not just an E, but also a K. I know, right? Oh my gosh. But this is just something you're gonna have to remember. Um, and I think, again, it's to do with ease of pronunciation, just because na e that sounds awkward. Um, anyways, you're turning that H into a K-E instead of just an E. So, <laughs> then because it ends in D-A, we're choosing the VAT ending instead of VAT. So it turns into na ge vat he na ge vat they see he na ge vat recon they see a truck he na ge vat na ge vat na ge vat okay <laughs> let's try it again with tehda tehda da has the a ending so remember that we'll use the vat ending as well to match the as um, the h will not only turn into an E, but a K-E. Add the VAT ending to form HE, TE, GE, VAT. HE, TE, GE, VAT. HE, TE, GE, VAT. <gasps> and that's us done. We've gone over all the pronouns, uh, the conjugations for the different pronouns for verb type two. So all that's left now are the negatives. But don't worry, trust me, the negatives are easy. So that'll be the final verb type two video, the negatives. Actually, oh, I think I forgot to do the negatives for verb type one. So I might have to go back and do that. If you have any more questions about verb type two that has you still a little bit confused, do leave them in the comments below. Myself or someone else will answer them. People are quite active in the comments answering people's questions, which I really appreciate. Um, Sorry about all the noise out front there, but yeah, I guess that just about concludes this video. Thank you so much for watching. Kitos tos, kitos, 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 Nahdan. See, I'm using the passive form here. Nahdan. En sevidiosa. We will see each other in the next video. Moika.